Hello YouTube, so after 5 days of playing and unlocking everything as possible and pushing the content as free to play, I must say that this game is a must play and a free to play friendly. In the first day of playing, you can actually farm at least 100 pools just by clearing the story quest and the rewards that you can get from the quest. There are some issues that needs to be resolved but overall the experience that I got was fulfilling to the point that I wanted to top up for the battle pass or the daily gold allowance but I'll say free to play as long as I can and wait for Cha Hei. Okay so let's talk about the pros of the game. First is how free to play friendly the game is. In just 5 days, I already used 220 standard tickets and already saved 21k essence stones which is the standard currency when pulling for limited banner. There's also fire on both 14,000 essence stones when you reach level 20 or 22 and actually there's more so everyone is winning in this game. Second is the gameplay and it's totally worth it. Not just by using Jin Wu, but the other hunters as well and even the Shadow Army. Especially when I got Igris at chapter 9. Okay, so now let's talk about the cons of the game. And the major problem is the gold usage if you are free to play. From the story and quest, it gives you a lot. But when you're starting to upgrade Jin Wu, the hunters, the weapons, or even the artifacts, it always uses gold. And even removing the artifact has gold cost. That's why if you're going to play as free to play, you need to properly use it. Like stop building all the hunters that you can get or don't rush limit breaking the weapons that you also get. And I'll cover more of this guide soon so please stay tuned. Another issue that you're going to face is the difficulty of stages and it starts at chapter 6. And then little by little, it requires to optimize Jin Wu's overall stats and even the hunters. Then it will lead back to the major problem which is the gold consumption. That's why picking the right hunters or weapons before starting the game is a must. And the last will be the PT system. So in the limited banner, if you didn't get the limited hunter listed in the rate up banner, it does not guarantee the next SSR. So there's no 50-50 chance unlike Genshin or Honkai Star Rail. But it has PT system that starts at 64. Then every pool will increase the chance of pulling an SSR. And guarantees at 80th pool. I also don't have the info if the PT built from this bar can be carried over to the next banner or it will reset. So if you're planning to pull a certain hunter, better prepare to lose than expecting to get the featured hunter. So yeah, in my experience, it's worth playing and it's free to play friendly and everyone will win in this game. So I actually love both animation from this game and even from the anime and I'm looking forward for the upcoming patches and content. So that's all for now. Please stay tuned for more.